Okay, so apparently after a couple of technical issues, um, I think we should be back in shape. We're still waiting for a few others to join back, like Nikki. And um, I saw that Riley is in the chat. Yep. Rejoin, you... Come, my comrades! Let us join together and enjoy a silly session of playing games. Playing games, yeah. Made it sound so <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> mediocre. I was going to say feast, but I was like, uh... Hi, Ari! How are you? <laughs> Fucking dick bag. Ah! No, I did get that rupee! <laughs> God damn it! Oh. Yeah. Here's the Thunderblight comic, alright? Let me see what this is about. Oh, RML is at work. Yeah. Alright. Now yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> bum, bum, ba, ba, ba. Ah, these fuckers. That's a decent comic. Thank you for sharing. Uh, my nose. I think it's over here I'm supposed to go to. Don't ask me. I've never played. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm talking to myself. Ah. I am indeed Sahara. -la I'm going to call you Sasha. I am indeed Sasha, yeah, the village that. elder and the descendant of the seven wise men. Oh, really? Gulen, I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the sword of evil's bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only a hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really want to find it? Eh, nah, not my gig. Good. <laughs> As a test, can you retrieve the pendant of courage from the East Palace? All right, well... Well, first thing I'm going to do is blow that hole in the wall. Uh, I hope that you're able to cover uh, property damage. Nightfall stream, they were given permission to post the one comic. Yeah. Chillax. Also, Nightfall, whatever it is that you uh, can link, you can do it too. Yeah, just ask. Gotta ask the Goldilocks. Like, I don't... The Goldilocks. Personally, I don't mind so much when somebody goes posting links because... It's really just something people can do. I Well, you need to be wary of that, though, because people will make a nasty habit of posting GIFs and videos and pictures, and that will slow down the stream. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Golden use the force, the Triforce. I'll see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not the first time somebody used the Triforce as a pun of the force from Star Wars. Uh, of course. Actually, uh, have you guys heard of a series called Super Smash Wars? No. Okay, Super Smash Wars is a crossover of Smash Brothers and Star Wars, and it was animated by this guy, I forget what his name, like James Farr, I think, and he was... Wait, no is this a really vulgar TMBA rated type of... <laughs> no, it's not a game, it's a fan-made animation. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's an a, a fan animation, and it's very mature i'll put it that way um i wouldn't say it's mature like it's it's very kid friendly in this series he's known for putting together a series called transformers which is a collab between transformers and thomas the tank engine it's a very i, think I heard ryan cringe <laughs> <laughs> well he actually like it, they're very well put together unfortunately because of a and d he had to discontinue the transformer series oh okay yeah, but Super Smash Bros. He um, he makes sure that uh, anybody who watches it, it's a work of parody, so there shouldn't be a big of an issue. But anyway, it's a clash between Super Smash Bros. characters and who are in the roles of like let's say Luke Skywalker and Leia. Like Link is uh, uh, Link Skywalker. Uh, Peach, I think, is Leia. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of puns in there. Uh, Pikachu oh is God. Yoda. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Mewtwo is Darth Sidious. <laughs> Ganondorf is Darth Vader. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's see. And they have certain names like there's the Return of the Hero, which is like a pun for Return of the Jedi. Uh, they had the Force Awakens called the Triforce Awakens. And uh, Daisy and Daisy is Ray because the actress is named Daisy Ridley. 
Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And uh, Shyla Ren is revealed to be, uh, yeah, that's right, Mario was Han Solo. And Donkey Kong was Chewbacca. Ow! That's perfect. Yeah, no, it's it, it's a very clever and fun series. Stop coward- Nikki. Stop jumping yep. back, you fucking dick. Get over here! <laughs> yeah, boneless <laughs> pizza? I'll show you boneless pizza. I'm glad Jasper's out of the call. Yeah. Boneless. That's the first like, I, I like I part of me like can't. Uh, Jasper just joined the call. <laughs> what? Hey. Riley. Hey. Hey, oh, we has Jasper. a Riley. You to me. <laughs> Riley. Hey, Jasper. You butt. <laughs> well, like no, like I said, boneless. Like at the exact second that he joined the call, and I was just like, oh god, that wasn't the first word he heard, was it? That you, are you seriously what to trigger the poor man? He's under enough stress as is. Yeah, yeah, but like it, it's it kind of feels surreal that I literally stated that out loud the whole boneless pizza thing because much like uh, much like jo um, Jasper, um, fuck I can't get past here. The whole boneless pizza thing drove me nuts because <laughs> I'm just like, how is there such thing as a boneless pizza? It doesn't make any sense. And it always drove me nuts. And it turns out that's the joke. It was a fucking prank call. Saying, I like to make a call of boneless pizza. Like, boneless. It's like, are you mistaking pizza for fucking, like, chicken wings or something? Why are you looking so hard into it? It's a joke. That, that's the thing. It's not that, supposed to make any sense. That's the joke. I get God, it, but Jesus. America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take your head and smash it into a pillow right now. Why are you making this so hard? <laughs> you 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 sound like a diet solar flare saying that. <laughs> you okay there, <laughs> Good God. Sorry, my this nose. This off the deep end. I hate my nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ouch. But yeah, I remember seeing a picture of something like that, where like this, uh, like this dog person character, like mm -hmm. like an anthro dog guy, was uh, doing the same thing, and he was just like, "Can I get a pizza with extra bones?" But bones. oh wait, actually, it makes more sense because it's a fucking pun. <laughs> yeah. Dolan, I I gotta I gotta stress a complaint. Okay. Why is your Discord server not have an icon? It hasn't been on the top of my priority, that's why. It's just G! It's the letter G! That is so boring! <laughs> oh, so it's I'm a G? It. You're telling me I'm a gangster? No, that's what your Discord <laughs> you're server says. It's a straight up G! The gangster is for G! Slice off my like god, I, don't make me do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go wash my mouth out with soap now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very well. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I was white. <laughs> <laughs> I work at night, I'm very pale. I'm white as fucking bread. And I don't I'm give a fuck! Than I'm whiter than an albino snowman. <laughs> I'm so white, Snow, Snow White called me and said uh, she wanted her trademark back. <laughs> oh. It's not fun being white, though, let's be real. We, we barbecue, we don't tan, we, we just cook and we die. <laughs> Like I, I respect anybody who has the tan, olive, or, or dark skin, and and they don't they don't burn. They tan. They get a glorious skin, and we, we just die. Jesus Christ! Borderline racist. No, it's not. I envy people with olive or dark skin. Envy. <laughs> because they get to tan and enjoy the sun, and we just die. <laughs> yeah, every time I try to tan, we just burn and we die. 
crispy. I have two settings. Like, white as a ghost and, like, crispy. Extra crispy. Extra crispy. <laughs> so you're ah! crispy cream, then. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just saying if you're white as a ghost ah, and you're burning crispy, gone. then you're crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue that. Golden Fox 007. <laughs> you know, if I was capable of doing the, like N64 streams, I wouldn't mind streaming that game. Oh, Golden? Golden Eye, yeah, for the N64. It's a classic game, you gotta give it that. Like, it does have some aging problems, but that was kind of bound to happen. I mean, oh, it yeah. was kind of the first, like, really mainstream popular. Uh, first person shooter, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm gonna slice you guys apart. I was only able to play the game because I was at friend's house. My parents wouldn't let me get the game. Boo! I've actually never played the game. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you haven't played the game? No, I never played Golden Axe. Okay. Well, it's worth the. It's worth the. Uh, it's worth a try. Like some people say, it's like one of the best games ever made. It's really just a game that uh, helped introduce um, first-person shooting games to the mainstream. If there's any first-person shooter game. That I have much more respect to, it would have to be Doom. Which, oh. yeah, no, that and Wolfenstein are the two games that um, kind of introduced first-person shooter games. Like, I'm pretty sure there were other first-person shooter games prior to that. Um, shit. Oh, but uh, yeah. Golden Eye. I actually own Golden Eye in the N64 ah, excuse now. Me. <laughs> oh wait, you you own an N64? Yeah. Oh I have shit. An N64. I have Golden Eye. I have. Uh, Banjo Tui, all that, all that. Oh shit! I, I have. Well, okay. If, technically, there is an N64 at my apartment, but that's Will's. Okay, ah. if you have an N64, I have to ask you this. Mm -hmm. do, you have, do you have Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart? No, uh, I don't. I only have the only games that were that we have for it are Mario Party, uh, Pokemon Stadium, and uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Okay, I you're have, dead to me. Yeah, Thank you, did you say you had it? I do have it, but I gotta ask Golden, which Mario Party? The first. <laughs> <laughs> I know I why you asked. Said to me, and Nikki's my new best friend. <laughs> which one is the one where you like got the blisters on your palms and crap? Was that two? That, that was, was the one. first, because of uh, tug of war and uh, the reeling game. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes, I do have uh, N64, and I do have uh, Mario Kart 64. Like I have a bunch of games. I have, let's see, I have N Mario 64, I have Banjo-Tooie, I have Goldeneye, and I have something else, but you guys ever hear of Buck Bumble? Yes! <laughs> I remember I, Buck I Bumble. That, that game was so weird. It was the Buck only gun game my parents would let me play. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that a, the thing that drove me nuts is whenever it came to, um, uh, like, if your character got stuck in, like, water, you have to struggle to get them out. Oh, oh yeah, no. I was more of a PlayStation kid growing up. I played a hell of a lot more on that than my N64. All right, that's I fine. Have here. Ah! I have Banjo, <laughs> Diddy Kong Racing, uh, DK64, Kirby64, uh, Super Mario64. How the fuck do I kill him? Fuck! Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Um, here, Smash Bros. Shit, Star shit, Fox, shit, shit, shit. A couple others. Oh, the best part of Buck Bumble, though, was the title screen song. Buck Bumble. Oh, yeah. Buck Bumble. Oh, wait, I missed the Bumble. question here. Bumble. If you guys are asking a question, like, do hashtag ask and then name, and then we'll be able to spot it easier. Yeah, that'll actually make things a hell of a lot easier. How much of a gamer are you, Golden Fox and Lightning Bliss? I'm definitely an old-school, like, retro gamer, and that's partially because I haven't had much of an opportunity to try modern games. Um, oh, let's see, I, well, that's gonna change because I have a PlayStation 4, I have a Switch, so. Uh, snap! <laughs> um, I, I used to be, I actually did used to be kind of pro when I was a teenager up till I was about 30. Mm -hmm. Like, officially, no, actually, I think it was 25, sorry. I've been playing, like, Alien vs. Predator 2 for 15 years. That was, like, the only game I would play. <laughs> Hashtag I biased. <laughs> I was considered professional. I, I, I was considered the top, uh, the top ranked alien player of our community at the time, but then I got Damn old, it. and then I retired, 
and now I just play casual. <laughs> so basically, you were a pro at AVP2, casual. and then you took an arrow to the knee. Uh, oh. no, and then I got the wall. Has anybody ever played a game called uh, Rocket Robot on Wheels? No, I've never even heard of it. Oh, okay. It was made by the same guys who made Sly Cooper. It's like their first game, and it was it's this really weird but kind of fun game. It's like, um, okay, so you're this little robot guy, and uh, your owner basically is running or about to open this amusement park, and ev everything just goes all to hell on the night before, like the like the guy's pet steals the mascot of the theme park and you have to go and like rescue him and it's this kind of physics based platformer which was like unheard of for 1997 yes lego i don't need no fucking map and compass that was such a simple dungeon are you fucking kidding me <laughs> there but yeah it was a really fun game it had physics which was really rare for the time but uh okay uh Ask everybody, uh, remember Pilot Wings? I've heard of it, I never played it. Okay. Uh, ask Golden, any PC retro game you were into? Um, let's see. Yep. Um, but aside from that, uh, what other, like... I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to avoid those edutainment uh, type of games because, you know, that would feel kind of embarrassing to mention. Well, I mean, I played, like, Jumpstart Second Grade growing up and all those other Jumpstart games. I, I don't know what Jumpstart is. Um, I remember playing, um, let's see, Math Blaster and Rita Rabbit. Well, I remember Math Blaster. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm trying to remember. Um, come here, you bastard. Fuck you. Um... I'm trying to remember, trying to remember. Oh, Zargon! Zargon. Uh, you guys don't know what that is, do you? No. I've uh, heard the name, but I don't know what it is. Okay, it's a platformer, and you can take control of an architect, and he got transported to a separate dimension, and he has to figure out a way out. It's, it's actually a pretty dark game, because when your character dies, it actually has, like, this evil laughter that goes... <laughs> But it's also uh, really. So you mentioned Mario is missing. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I do not know any other language other than English. I only know a few words or sentences in Spanish. I know maybe one sentence in German, and that's it. Yeah, English, oh, please. Words in Japanese. So then you yeah, don't enough. need to weigh with the compass and misanthrop. What about misanthropony? You, you don't need to weigh. You turned that away? Oh! Oh, god damn it! It's a fucking you Uganda anyway. joke! Fuck! <laughs> How could I have been so stupid? Still going? Is that Mad Munchkin? Is that oh my. Wait, is, is that, that is that the real Maddie? Will the real Mad Munchkin please stand up? Please, please stand, stand up. up! Please stand, stand up! It's got an icon! Cause but... it's the Mad Munchkin, yes, it's the Mad Munchkin. I can't fucking like. Cause I, yes, that's the munchie. Yes, the real munchie. She got the munchie and the Mary Sue <laughs> and the munchie. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I suck. <laughs> you know what? Points for trying. I know, I suck. How does one use the N64 controller? Um, you know, practice. I practice. Well, not just practice. Okay, <laughs> because the controller has three handles. Um, it's mostly recommended that you get accustomed to. Uh, the joystick side and uh, the right side with the buttons, uh, the C buttons and A and B. Yeah, the only game that I've ever played where it's the other way, like you actually hold it like a normal controller, is Pokemon Stadium. I remember like, that, and um, there was also a fighter game. I forgot what it's called, but it's like something Destiny. Oh, uh, I can't think of what you're talking about. What did you? What do you think it is? Mm, Destiny. Um, nope, can't think of it. No, you basically, it's, it was trying to emulate, like, a 3D version of, uh, Street Fighter, where you have different, uh, fighters from around the world. Oh, Virtual Fighter? No, um, on the N64, it was, like, something Destiny, and you have, like, it's somewhat of, like, a fighting slash wrestling type of game. Fighter's Destiny. Yeah, no. Fighter's Destiny, Fighter's that, Destiny. okay, yeah. Alright. It was a weird, Thank like... You, 
Yep. And also Curse Sage. <laughs> you mean the awesome MMO FPS made by Bungie? It's called Destiny. And I got the <laughs> fucking boots! No, we're talking about this classic gaming, not modern. Fuck! You asswipe! Get over here! Oh, Golden, such language. Uh, what would Dr. I'm Wolf ass. say? What would Dr. Wolf say? He found me in here! <laughs> oh, no! I'm in trouble! Oh, like, I'm in trouble! Such language, Miss Bliss. Miss Bliss. No, okay, I've been relatively on my best behavior. <laughs> that is very unusual. Sure, Bliss. Oh, that don't is... you start! That, it's just... Don't y'all start talking like Dr. Wolf, that's bad. Miss Bliss. Don't make fun of my big bro. Miss Bliss, that is such don't inappropriate you... language. I will end you! <laughs> Think of the children. Think of the children who watch the stream. Uh, their fault for watching it? Oh, I want to... <laughs> yeah, <kinda. laughs> it's like, Mr. Golden the Fox. children. <laughs> I could just imagine, like, Golden, oh, shit. in my office, Y'all want to hear now. a funny story about what we have it at Babscon for me and Doc? Oh, God, what? Yeah. Oh, I got a funny story for you. Okay. Oh, I think I know this one. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's not, it's not with Chuggle. I'm not going to tell that story without Chuggle being in here. <laughs> okay. He'll get okay. really salty if you don't. So, um, me and Doug were, run were wandering around the vendor hall, and uh, we stopped by Breakfast Tea's table. For those who don't know, he's the guy who makes prants. <clears throat> all right. Mm. So he sells all the prants cards and the shipping cards and those miniature Takimakura pillows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was the one I was thinking of. Okay, so, so I lean over to talk with breakfast tea he's clearly tired and it's and it's okay we're just kind of shooting the breeze here and and he said are you still interested in doing those miniature docu of lightning bliss i'm like well if they're cute and not suggestive in any way he's like oh yeah of course doc's eyebrows go up so high Full he's like excuse mode. me <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 dog. That, I, I, the no, 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 dog. They're, they're, like, they're not suggestive Dakibakras. They're really small. See, look at the really tiny ones. And these tiny ones, they're not even a foot long. And they're very innocent. But he's like, he goes on a, he kind of goes into a really big, thick, big brother rant. Oh, boy. And, and he's going full out to breakfast tea, bless his heart. Breakfast tea was not, was kind of taken aback. He wasn't expecting a rat from Dr. Wolf. He's like, the very idea of Miss Bliss having Dr. Macras at her table, it's unsealing. Please explain to me how this would not be suggestive in any way. The name itself is suggestive. And, and breakfast tea tried to defend that they wouldn't be suggestive at all and it was an offer he, trying to help with my sales and stuff he's like that's and doc just kept going that is beside the point they are still dakimakaras that the very word in itself means body pillow and that in itself means not safe for work things and he just kept going he kept going and he kept going i am laughing hysterically meanwhile and blushing uh, there we while go. breakfast tea is kind of looking to be like please help me please help me please help me <laughs> <laughs> no, finally, no help. i would have never finally, expected him to be triggered so badly jeez it really was it was awesome oh, oh my oh, god oh, oh, oh. So I try to redirect Doc away. I point to Dusty Cat's Dakimakura, which was basically a joke. And they were selling like hotcakes, by the way. <laughs> oh, I'm... And, 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 and Doc's like, I don't care what Mr. Dusty Cat does. This, What would your fans think, Bliss? <laughs> think of the fans. I'm well, like, Doc, I'm a Doc, fan, I... and I think it'd be cute as shit. But... Doc, Doc, okay. I'm more worried about your blood pressure at this point. <laughs> Good I God, mean, yeah, I'm like, ah! God damn it, I got hit with a fucking mind. So uh, I, I told him calmly, I told him calmly, Doc, if it makes you cough and feel better, I promise you I won't do it. Okay, <laughs> he says. <laughs> like, you That's need to smart. chillax, man. Sometimes there are going to be some things that are way past your league. <laughs> Jesus! I, I think he was just more concerned about my image. <laughs> you know, he was being a big older brother, you know? <laughs> He's being the R. 
Kind of going a little too far, though, aren't the uh, like? I don't thought you... it was hilarious. I was like Patrick Warburton for a second. Kind of going too far. I just didn't expect him to do that. That was like a new. That was a new role for him. But in, in our friendship, he, he went. He went big. He went Big Brother mode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was oh, awesome. Man. Uh, oh yeah, then the whole chuggle incident happened, happened and that made Doc laugh hysterically. The chuggle incident? <laughs> oh, do we not know this one? I thought uh, I knew this one. I don't, like, uh, I haven't been able to uh, catch up on what happened. Okay. Story time again. <laughs> <laughs> Gather around, everybody! Right. Auntie Pussy is gonna tell you a story. Okay, get your, so, Pussy. Get your clipping ready. <laughs> so, right after... <laughs> Right after all of this happened, uh, I go back to my table, and oh, I happen to have an extra expansion pack of the Prance YouTuber cards. Breakfast Tea kind of just threw them out to me and Doc, told me to make us go away. <laughs> and I already had the expansion pack of Prance with the YouTubers, so I gave mine to Chuggle. And Chuggle's like, well, how much is the original game? I want to get it. I'm like, oh, it's just 25 bucks. He's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go get the game. So he gets up. I watch him go over, walk over, like, to have across the room to breakfast tea's table to buy the deck. An odd conversation ensues over there. And this was the conversation. Chuggle asks, may I please buy a deck of prints? The breakfast tea's response is, wait, don't you two already have it? I thought she already bought it for you guys. Aren't you both married? You know what? Never mind. Here. <laughs> so he gives the deck to Chuckle for free. And he's like... And, and Chuckle walks back and Chuckle is fuming red. He's I'm mad. Like, Chuckle, Chuckle, what happened? No. What's going on? And he, he said, I think he thought I was your husband. <laughs> no, he's no, like, red what? With anger, <laughs> red blushing. Doc, Doc immediately is like, what? How old is Chuggle? And how old are you? How the uh, fuck do you get like those two mixed years. up? Uh, I'm like, Doc is laughing at this point. He's like, I wish somebody got that on video. He was laughing so hard. I'm like, Doc, you're not helping. Why are you laughing? Stop. <laughs> I go over to breakfast tea. I'm like, you thought that was my husband? <laughs> and Breakfast is like, it's really late, I'm tired, I've been working all day. And I'm like, he looks nothing like Lars! <laughs> Lars is German! And he's yelling? Doc is actually yelling? No, I'm yelling at Breakfast Team. <laughs> Doc is at my table laughing his tail off. <laughs> and it's Doc's turn to be laughing at me right now. <laughs> ah! So, Breakfast is like, please leave me alone, have mercy on me, I've been, I'm tired, it's been a long day. I'm like, fine, I'm letting you off the warning. I stop back to my table, and Chuggle's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's not your fault, Chuggle. Doc is still laughing! <laughs> <laughs> so, his, so he goes by the name of Breakfast? Breakfast Tea. And I breakfast. said, what about Breakfast at Tiffany's? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> and thank you, Morpheus. What? He, what? He clipped, the, he clipped the thing for us. Oh, God. <laughs> Step aside, Sub-Zero. <laughs> oh, oh did, I get, did I get months? I think I just got months. <laughs> I got the months. <laughs> 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 Tim Allen, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's so funny about that. It just is. Because it's not human sounding. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like that whole show is based around that one noise. Yep. Uh, and you have the kid who voiced young Simba, so that's all I know of. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jonathan Taylor. Oh, yeah, 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 Jonathan Taylor. Whatever happened to him? It's kind of a similar thing that happens with a lot of child actors, you know. They don't really do much in their adult life. They're, um... They're formerly no... Get burnt out. He probably... Yeah. That's probably what happened. Meanwhile, Macaulay Culkin went through a fucking shithole in his life. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got... I feel bad for the guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see yeah. that. 
It's like his funny. Dad basically, took all his money. Yeesh. You know, it's funny. You know, looking back at seeing how like what their ages are. That's how old Doctor Wolf is, and so forth. Uh, I think oh. Silver Quill is around like Macaulay Culkin's age. Silver Quill is pretty. Less did you hear what happened to no. the? Uh, actually, the no. I think Silver's child. actually Doc's age. I actually misheard that. Hmm. Ah! Yeah. Oh, Ow! 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 And never mind. Sorry. <sighs> All right. Sorry, Thank I'm you for following right. Cool Bean Spinky. <sighs> Wait, is that who I think it is? Or is that just some Thank random name? Uh, cool Bean Spinky. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh never yeah, mind. That's about right. Thanks for thanks for following. Yep. Uh, itchy nose. Da, da, da. And the stones start to move. Wait, is he is he actually like holding his hands over his mouth like oh? Well, the book says um, upon reading the stone uh, when translating, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. It means. Um, uh, you can make one wish, and that's what it is. So he made a wish to help open up the uh, gate. Oh, okay. So he was like holding his hands together in prayer. Okay. Exactly. I thought he was, like, holding, his, I thought he was holding his hands over my, my, his mouth, like, what the hell? Oh, Mid Pony likes you, Golden. <laughs> <laughs> and Munch, Mad Munchkin's now following. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this an episode, and I'm going to take another short break. Hey.